And um, what we're going to be looking at is um, Jaffa graphics. Now, Jaffa graphics is not all that um, complicated, um, but there's some things that you need to do, and you need to use the the, the graphics type um, from the graphics class, um, and so. And what you use is a paint method for it, or a paint component method. We are going to use a paint method. Um, this is not going to be 2D graphics. Um, 2D graphics is the same on what you'll cast it into 2D. And so it's the same way of doing it. And so I'll show you this way so that you'll be able to do both very easily. And what I've done here is I've created a frame. Um, size 500 by 500, excellent visibility true, and created an instance of this class in main, so that it will display um, this the constructor of this class. And so, if I run the program, what you can see, this is the frame that we've created, and we're going to paint on this frame. And so, to paint, this is the constructor. Underneath the constructor, we're going to do another method. And it's going to be public void because it's not going to return anything. And paint. This is a special method um, from the graphics to, to run the graphics. You have paint component. Right, but what we are, what we are going to use is paint. And inside paint, we're going to pass then graphics. Um, and so it's going to be a type graphics. So the same way that you would you would use like a method, a cra another class, class one C, and we would be passing it class one C as would access it as C into this method, though there's not a class called that, and that's why it's highlighted. What we are going to do is graphics. And call it G, we can call what we want. Now, we've not actually imported this yet, but this is part of the Java package graphics. And so if we click on here, import graphics, and it's from Java AWT. So you can see it there, AWT. And now we create the, the open brace and the close brace of the method. And what if we put inside this paint method? is going to be painted to the frame and so the most basic thing that we can do is change the colour and so we'll access the graphics class from Java which we passed to this method and we have access it by the letter G G dot and we're going to set the colour the colour and you see the old different set paint mode and um, sex set X or mode and set crit. <laughs> so we're going to do this. And what we're going to pass here is the colour. And you can see up here we've got colour argument. That's what we're going to pass inside here. So we're going to go dot and this is going to be an argument from the colour um, class in the Java package and we're going to pass it we're going to pass it red okay so we've passed that red so what we've done what we're going to paint is going to be the colour red red and so what are we going to paint? First we're going to paint a square and it's going to be, we're not going to draw a square, we're going to fill a square square um, with this colour red, red and so it's the fill keyword and it's fill rectangle and inside here you've got the x, y, that's the coordinates on the screen, the position on the screen is the x and y and the width and the height is the size of the square. So what we'll do is we'll go 10, position 10 and position 10. And the width we're going to call it, we're going to say it's 30 um, wide. And 
the height is 30. So that's us um, painted a rectangle onto the frame. So if we save it and done the program, we've actually got a square there, but with a frame, zero, position zero, zero doesn't start here, it starts up here. So 10 is about here. And so to prove this, I'll, I'll change, I'll put this to zero, zero, and you'll see it even becomes smaller again. And it's became smaller again because zero, zero's up here, but I'll put the corner. So that's important to know when you're calculating the position on the frame. This, this, the frame itself is painted onto the panel. And so what we're going to do is, um, 10 is too small, so we'll go 30, 30. And now, so a wee bit more than, than 30 is, a wee bit less than 30 is to start off the image that we see on the, f the frame. And so, so the position, want this square a little bit lower down. And so what we'll do is, X, Y, let's see. Let's make this 40. Try to remember what X is and what Y is, because I don't use it often, so I forget. Okay, I got it right. So I've moved it down a little bit. That's 40 there. From there to there's 40. And from there to there's 30. And so that's us put a square, a red square. And we'll change this colour. We'll change this colour to yellow, it's all capitals, or all, all small ones, and save, run a program, now we've got a yellow square, I'll change it to black, save, run the program, now we've got a black square, so that's how we paint a square. And to show you different size, because these two are the same size as a square, but if we made this 300, it should be a rectangle. There you go, a rectangle. So, so why is the columns, and you could see X is the rows, and so, so that's that's black. So we change the size. So we change this to 300. Now we've got a square again because both X and Y are the same size. So that's squares. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, I'm going to change this to draw square. G dot draw rectangle. And the size again, we're going to do 40 this time there and 40 there. And we're going to do 30 again, just to show you, because you know the, the different number here is a different size. And save, run the program. And now that's the difference between draw and fill. Draw actually draws a line around the edge of the square, the rectangle. And the square is a rectangle, and fill will actually fill in the square the whole square, the colour that you've chosen. So that's why it was all black and draw is just a line um, around the square. So that's the difference between um, fill rectangle and draw rectangle. And the next one we'll do is oval, which is a circle. So again, thank you for your time. I hope that's been helpful. Right, thanks.